Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome back to Dredge, where the mindsuckers of the Twisted Strand are no more. They are gone, dead, blown to bits by the airman's mortars, which is all very wonderful indeed, thank you airman friend. And now all we have to do to go and get what I believe is the final artifact for the collector is head over here to the Devil's Spine. And we kind of have been over here before a little bit, although not really by design, we kind of ended up here by accident. I think we were over here somewhere trying to find a fear for one of the hungry definitely not occultist people and we found the fish over here but then it got a bit dark so we kind of hid out over here at the ancient temple some people asked us some questions i think we failed the entry exam to get into the ancient temple but they did say oh to redeem yourself you can go and light some fires and we haven't done that quite yet so we will have to head back over here at some point soon but not right now, because instead we are going to go in entirely the opposite direction and go down here to the stone slab thing there, because a few people have said in the comments that we might be onto something with the fish that we currently have on the boat. And in fact, they're not even fish, are they? They're kind of sharks, I think. Hang on, go to our storage. Um, yeah, these big things here, the bronze whalers, I think a few people have hinted that we need to put sharks into that, and they look a bit sharky. So let's head over to that thing. It might take us a while to get there. So hang on, put the map back on. So come out of here and sort of head southwest-ish. Not entirely southwest, but a little bit southwest. So kind of head out down there, I think. It's all going to be fine. So yeah, brand new day, day 83 it is now. Good grief. So uh, yeah, undock from here. And I think we can just sort of turn around like that. We've got all our crab pot things out. That's absolutely fine. Do we want to go and catch one of those? No, we don't. We, we've got a job. We've got a task we want to go and do. The weather is miserable. It's terrible around here at the moment. Look at that. That is awful. I think the sea might be slightly unpleasant to be uh, sailing around on. Lots of big waves going on, but there we go. Um, if we do see any other kind of sharky type things, we could possibly grab some because we might need some. That's what people are sort of alluding to in the comments, that it's to do with big fish sort of shark type things um i mean a sailfish is it a sailfish what was that there was something there as well it's really hard to use this when it's on the sea like this uh no not tiger mackerel i mean a sailfish it's not sharky though is it it's not like a shark um is there anything else around viper fish blue mackerel no okay um i think are we going in roughly the right direction uh no not entirely i think we have to kind of head yeah it's more over in that direction i think Okay, that's fine. That's a whale. We'll, uh, we'll just wait for that whale to go by. Hello, whale friend. We're not going to get you. You're one of the things we're going to leave alone. You're fine. You're good. Right, anything else around here? Any other kind of sharks or whatever? We should be able to see the marker thing on the map, I would have thought. Have we not got the marker on the map? Uh, that was something that did not look sharkish, I don't think. A perch. No, they're not kind of sharky enough, I don't think. Again, are we facing the right way? I think we've got to go round this island here. Got to go round this. Is that where the photographer is? No, I don't think it is. There is something there, but that's not what we're looking for. And then it's kind of over there. Oh, it's over there. Right, yes, it's just there. Look, there it is. Right, that's what we're heading for. So is there anything around loose jaws? Anything around here? Barrel eyes? Anything that looks like a shark? Any sharky looking things? Ghost shark. Okay, that might be what we want. Do you want to go and get some ghost sharks? Possibly that might be useful because they're sharks. That's what people are saying. I'm putting my faith in you commenting people. Right, grab us some sharks. Uh, crikey, that was quick. That spot has been depleted. Oh, okay. Um, right, we've got two sharks. I'm not entirely sure what other sharks we can um, we can go and find. But okay, let's see if we can figure out exactly what we're looking for over here. So go all the way over to the thing and let's try and drop these in. And we'll try if we can to look at the actual picture itself. Well, the weather's turned out quite nice in the end. That's lovely. Right, okay. So I'm trying to sort of... So that doesn't really... That doesn't help, I don't think. I don't think that helps. Oh, we've got some salmon in there from where we came in last time. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll take that out because that just didn't work at all. Um, right, okay. So, um, have we got one of... It's really hard to see. That could potentially be one of those. Is that one of those? But from above, it looks like it's got the same tail. 
It's got that kind of sharp tail bit type thing. So maybe that's going to fit in over there. Um, I mean, I don't... Is that one of those? I genuinely don't know. I mean, that kind of fits in conveniently there. That's quite nice. Uh, and then there's a thing there and a thing there. I don't know what these other fish are. I mean, that is that a hammerhead? Is that a hammerhead shark? Is it worth heading out into the sea to go and look for a hammerhead shark? Uh, it looks like a hammerhead. It's got like a head shaped like a hammer. That's the kind of defining characteristic, I would say, of a hammerhead shark. Can we see any? Are there any of those? Uh, no, anglerfish. Um, that's not one either, is it? Uh, and more anglerfish. Maybe we need to head out further into the sea. Hang on, what was that? What was that? Hammerhead shark. Okay, hang on. Go and grab one of those. Although, what's the fourth one? Have we come across a fourth type of shark? I'm not entirely sure. I'm not convinced we have. But do you know what? I'm now determined to see if that's correct. Because people have said sharky clues. We're going to go for sharkies. Right, okay. That is a hammerhead shark. So we will have one of those. Uh, oh, okay. We've got one of the weird ones. We've got ourselves here yeah, a gazing shark. I think we've seen that before. They are very odd. They're very, very strange. Um, okay, are there any other sharks? Another hammerhead. Barracuda. Um, any other sharks? I, I mean, have we even found any of the sharks? Do we know any of the sharks? Um, maybe we should go over there, grab another hammerhead. In fact, have we got any room on the boat for another hammerhead shark? I'm not entirely convinced we have. Um, oh, hang on. Hang on. If we put that back where it was and move that away down there, I think, does that now fit like that? Although we're not going to fit another one of those in, are we? Hang on. Try and move the bait around. We might be able to fit it in over there. We'll try and make it fit. Um, yeah, where was it? Sort of... Uh, yeah, not too far away, actually. Only over here. Okay, good. Right, so go and grab this. Because then if we've got two of them... I mean, maybe it looks like four different fish on the slab. It looks like four different ones. So I'm going to assume that we do need four different types. Um, ah, okay. Oh, no, there. It fits. Perfect. Okay, right. So now I think we head back to the stone slab, which is over there. I have a terrible, terrible, sneaky feeling that we're going to be out at night time. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, right. No, it's fine. We'll head back to the... um. Try and get back to the floating pontoon thingamajig. And we can sell this stuff as well, because we have got quite a bit of stuff to sell. So we'll sell that on. But yeah, let's just get round here first. Oh, nice sort of pretty blue sky going. Oh, look, we've got a nice sort of, sort of aurora borealis kind of stuff going on. That's very pretty. Right, so go to here. So, hammerhead shark. It's going to be... I mean, how is that going to... How's that going to fit into this arrangement of things? Um, I don't know how this is all... Oh, hang on. Maybe like that. Okay, hang on. So now, I mean, it's gone a bit dark now. It's got... Is it the other... Bro... Hang on, is it the other bronze whaler? Um, bother. No, it's not, because it doesn't quite fit. Its fins aren't in the right place. Oh, that is a bit of a nuisance. Okay. So it's not that. It's another type of shark. Uh, okay, what we'll do is, uh, right now, we're going to try and just... And then we can head through here, can't we? So head through here. Don't go... It's gone very kind of misty and dark, hasn't it? Don't go near the giant tentacle monster, of course. There is the beloved pontoon. There's our lovely pontoon. Right, let's go to the edge. Steer around the edge of this bit, please. Right, pontoon pontoon we like it over here we we do get a fair shift on now we go incredibly quickly which is wonderful right dock here Ooh, reverse parking aren't we fancy all of a sudden with our big fancy upgraded boat We're now doing reverse parking okay so go to the fish market we can sell some of these so that's rotting because that's been on the boat for a while those two are stale uh, but that's quite fresh we get 500 money most of it from that but do you know what clear the boat out Okie dokie. Right, so that looks pretty good. And can we tuck these away down in the corner, possibly, like that? There we go. Uh, or uh, a bit like that. 
Just them all shoved out of the way. That'd be okay. Uh, right. So we've got that done. That's wonderful. Uh, so now I think what we do is, have we uncovered any more sharks? Go to the encyclopedia. Um, I imagine they're going to be sort of... Yeah, oceanic. Yeah, look, so bronze whalers we've got. It's not one of those, because that's too big. They're massive. So I don't think it's going to be one of those. So, hang on, if we go forward... Uh, oh, okay. Is it one of those? Is it one of these things? So we'd catch that in the marrows, would we? Right, okay, so that's the thing we could catch in the marrows. We've got one of those over in the Stella Basin. Um... I don't think it's those. I think it's whatever that is. We've got the bronze. Hang on, hang on. Look at the orientation of it. So um, it's like four across and then it's got uh, one, two in and one, three in. So that's four and then it's, it's yeah, it's one of those because that pattern will fit into the shape on the thing. Right. Now we have to just go and catch a mystery shark. Uh, out in the marrows. Okay, at least we know that's what we have to do. Okay, this is wonderful. That's very exciting. Okay, right, good. At least we have a bit of a plan. So, um, yeah, go and have a bit of a sleep. There we go. Don't look at the giant tentacle monster. And, um, yeah, now we'll head back to the marrows. We could always head back from this direction, though. That's very pretty. Look at that, the sun coming up. That's very lovely around here. Yeah, our boat is incredibly fast. Look at it. It's <laughs> just flying along now. This is wonderful. Right, so head toward the Marrows. That's kind of over in that direction. Um, a few people said we've not been to that island. Um, I think they might be correct. I don't think we have been to that island. I don't think they're there to look at. But um, yeah, maybe at some point we will pop over there, but not right now. So if we head toward the Marrows which we can see in front of us, because, of course, there is the big lighthouse sort of uh, leading us that way. Uh, we'll have a little look around and see if we can find a mystery shark, because I don't really know what I'm looking for. So this is indeed a voyage of discovery for everybody. So if we just pull up in the middle over here, card, bronze whalers. Okay, so it's not a bronze whaler, and normally that will be exciting. We go, ooh, stuff to go and get your resources, but we don't need those anymore. We don't need resources anymore. We've upgraded the boat as, as much as we can do. Um, okay. So nothing I can see over there. Right. Okay. Head a little bit more toward... Where am I facing, actually? Hang on. That's a little marrow. Okay. I'm facing little marrow right now. So if we go through and out the other side and check around there, maybe... Uh, or do we go around that? Let's go around the back of Little Marrow, actually. Let's head over here, look into the middle of the sea over here. And we'll have a little look around. There was some lightning. There was some lightning. Don't don't hit us, please. We have got quite a big pointy antennary bit on the boat. Don't crash into us. Right, it's not a rat tail. It's not a sailfish. Or oh, they do fetch a good prize. That's cod. It's got to be... It's, it's somewhere around here. It's got to be a thing around here. Although... We just don't know exactly where. Right, okay, the search continues. I suspect this might take quite a long time looking for a fish in the sea. I mean, yeah, there are plenty more fish in the sea and we've got to try to find one of them. But okay, that's fine. We'll keep looking. Just going to grab ourselves a fancy trinket of some kind because there's something shiny down there. I mean, I don't really think we need the money so much anymore. Um, a pair of pearl earrings. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't know if we need the money anymore because normally you use it to do the whole you know, boat upgrading thing, but we don't need to do that anymore. Okay, I've just noticed something very interesting indeed, which means that we have been wasting our time today because according to the encyclopedia, fishopedia thing over here, this thing that we're looking for only comes out at night. So we've been wasting our time looking for it in the day because it's just not going to come out. It's currently having a little snooze somewhere in the sea and it's not going to come out. The only thing is, it is nearly, it's nearly night time. It's coming up to five o'clock. So what we could do is, we could just sort of sail about for a bit. We could just sort of pootle around. The only thing is, we have to be a little bit careful because, of course, we do have the terrifying sort of uh, ghost boat ship monster thing to deal with around here. And I don't like that one at all. It's very scary and not fun. I do not like. So, where is that? 
And where are the things that we're looking for? Right, arrow squid. Okay, so we've now gone into the evening. So the nighttime fish should be out. Um, that is... Right, this is where we put lots of our crab pots. So I'm thinking that maybe if we head over in this direction... Um, hang on, hang on a minute. Our lights have gone off. Why have our lights gone off? Was that why it was dark earlier? Because the lights were off. I mean, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Right, spyglass. Okay, black groupers. Um, arrow squid. Uh, what's that? Arrow squid. Uh, oh, look, the civilization over there. We like it over there. It's nice over there. Um, okay, anything else around here? There. They're over there. Look, there's a thing in that direction. Okay, so it's not too far away from the marrows itself, look. We're actually relatively close to civilization. However, I can see the terrifying ghost boat thing over there. So let's get this nice and quick. A black tip reef shark. Okay, so we've got... Ooh! Okay, there's a terrifying... Oh my goodness me, that is horrendous. A cleft mouth shark. A large body bisected by an enormous grinning maw. Teeth stretch down forever into the blackness of its large gullet. Oh my goodness, that thing is all sorts of horrible. Right, we're just going to go in here. We're going to go in here. Look, there's the ghost boat over there. I can see it over there. We're not going to go over there. We could, just to get some more money, just do a tiny bit of fishing. Oh, apart from we didn't do that very well. But yeah, just pick up a few eels. Do some midnight fishing. That's absolutely fine. There we go. And we'll grab one more. We'll grab one more. Oh, I'm not very good at this, am I? You'd think I'd be good at doing the fishing by now. There we go. So currently, it's going to be about, what, one o'clock in the morning, possibly, by the time we pull up here. But that's okay. Do a bit of fancy parking. Getting quite good at controlling the boat now. Now I'm going to crash now. I said that. But okay, wake the fishmonger up at one in the morning. Um, okay, so I think we keep that one, if that's what we're after. I'm, I'm confident that's what we're after. Because that seemed to match the shape that we need. Um, yeah, we'll sell that one then. And we'll sell you and you and you. There we go. And we'll keep that one. So we've got we've got three and a half grand. We don't really need to go out and catch fish anymore. Because we don't need them for anything. We'll put that into storage as well. Because we might as well. Um, yeah, okay, right. We're going to have a rest. Because there's no way I'm going all that way back to the slab thing in the dark because that will be bad. Um, but now it's all lovely and kind of sunny again, and it's not dark and terrifying. We can head back out over here and try and go in the right direction from the very start. Yeah, it's more in sort of that direction. Okay, right, so come on, little super speedy fishing boat. Let's get down there and hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, sort out the mystery of this stone slab, because it's taking a very, very long time to uncover what's going on with it. So, hopefully this is going to be it okay there is the slab hello stone slab let's just pull up to it right you are okay is it this they seem to fit in quite well they don't fit in in the same pattern as, as on the actual slab itself which we can't see because we've parked our boat in the way but that would fit okay just there fingers crossed everybody that this is what we're looking for i'm not 100 percent confident but you know what let's give it a go it was that wonderful oh my goodness me thank you thank you commenting people because yeah i wouldn't have really known to go and get sharks to be honest so there we go you slide the four sharks into the fissures and they slip down out of sight moments later you spot something rising toward the surface of the water and we've got a viscera crane oh good a traitorous device crafted in the deep it will raise its kindred to the light okay so it looks like another one of these things which is made of, you know, I don't know, body parts, bones and sinews and tendons and all that kind of stuff. That is very unpleasant. Okay, hang on. Can we can we put that into storage, please? It's done. We've worked it out. Finally, it's all sorted. Okay, that took a very long time. That took quite a long time. I think given that we now have a very quick boat, is it worth just taking a quick trip up to that island? Because a few people, again, in the comments said we didn't go there. So we'll pop over to that, see what that's all about. Then we'll go back possibly to the Marrows. And then maybe then we just make our way over to the Devil's Spine and just kind of get on with things. Because, you know, might as well move things on. We don't really need the money. And we don't need to go and do all the kind of other stuff. We'll get some more quests. Oh, actually, yeah, a few people did make some points 
uh, with regard to the quest. But let's go and look at this island first. Okay, here's the island, and already I see something a bit weird. Is it another hungry person? It's another hungry person! Yay! Hello, hungry. Definitely not a cultist. How are you? Okay, right. So, again, thank you, commenting people, for pointing me in this direction, because I do want to kind of wrap up all the quests and side quests and everything else before we finish things up, whenever that might be. I'm not quite sure, but I do want to kind of try to find everything. So, okay, it's interesting over here. There's a thing. Yeah, you approach a hooded figure. Deep violet robes mask their face completely. Fisherman. Feed. Person appears to forget the rest of what they were about to say. Are you a bit peckish? Feed. The mouth. The hooded figure reveals a scroll. A gesture to a picture at the top. It's a tarpon. Okay. We found one of those before. Hang on. Tarpons. Let's go and look at the thing. The only thing is, can we, can we like type in search terms? I don't think we can. Okay, but well, hang on a minute. Where did we find tarpons? They're around somewhere. I'm just not entirely sure where we found them. Right, there we go. Fish number 41, the tarpon. We've only ever caught one of them, and we caught it over in the Twisted Strand. Okay, right, let's head over and do that now, shall we? That'll give us another little something to do. That's quite exciting. And the Twisted Strand is only over there. It's not far away at all. So, okay, let's head into here. It might end up being quite late by the time we catch this thing. In fact, are we even going to catch it? Because it might possibly turn uh, night time before we can actually go and grab it. There's grey mullets and things everywhere, but I don't know if we can see any kind of tarpons. It might be worth possibly, now the weather has also turned as well and it looks a bit grim, nipping over to the, um, the thingamajig. The place we can hide out over there. There we go. The lovely pontoon. And um, and then yes. Then we'll go and check in the morning. Although hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. We should possibly uh, go there. It's Oh it's night and day. It's night and day. But at night time we get a bit scared. I mean, when I say we get a bit scared. I get a bit scared. Fancy p reverse parking again. We are showing off aren't we. Okay so have a bit of a sleep. Hang on. We've not got any fish have we. I've not got any fish. No, okay. No, that's fine. That's okay. Yep, yeah, sorry, interrupted our sleep there. But I mean, really, it wasn't even midnight. So there we go. Um, okay, right. Brand new day. Let's undock over here and go and try and find ourselves a tarpon for a hungry person. And I like the fact that now we can just go around here with relative freedom. We don't have to worry too much about it because these things are dead. They just sort of all destroy, just hanging around over there, just big old bits of goo. So I quite like that. Right, there's a tarpon over there. Now, is it worth, while we're here in the Twisted Strand, grabbing a few more creatures, fish, native to where we are? Because I think maybe the next things could possibly be things that are around here. So why don't we just grab a few things? And if we, if we get it right, brilliant. If not... It doesn't matter. So there's a gar. So maybe they might ask for a gar. There was a sergeant fish somewhere as well. Uh, that might be one of those possibly. So that is... Yeah, that's a sergeant fish. So uh, what else have we got? There's another gar. Um, a grey mullet. They might ask for a grey mullet. Yeah, the most exciting of all the hairstyles. Uh, right, we'll have one of those, please. And boop. Okay, so grab one of those as well. Um, I don't know if there's anything else around, but okay, that's fine. That's okay. So now I think we can go back to the hungry person. Do you know what we do need to do? We need to do a map marker for them. That's what we need to do. Pop down to there. They're kind of over there. So place a marker. It's a point of interest. Okie doke. Right, so head in sort of a bit more. It's that island there, isn't it? I'm fairly certain it's that island there. Okay, right, head over there and give them this thing that they're after. So on the way back to the purple-robed, definitely not a cultist, I thought I'd go round the island the other way just to make sure that we weren't missing out on anything. But look, there's a plane. There's a crashed plane over there. Um, okay, can we, can we interact? Okay, it's a terrifying monster. It's a terrifying monster. Ah, oh, dearie me. No, no, right, goodbye. Oh, that's really awful as well. I mean, that is, to be fair, a very good disguise. It's a very good disguise. Uh, what is that just there? Oh, there are some shinies. There are some shinies next to it. Can we, can we get, can we pick these up without aggravating the thing? 
Uh, okay, possibly, possibly. Again, we are putting ourselves at risk here, maybe for no reason, because we don't need this. We don't really need the money anymore. Um, it's a sexton. Oh, okay. Like a fancy kind of navigational thing. That's quite big, but okay, wonderful. Right, so let's head back around this way, shall we? Right, don't go around there again. <laughs> Terrifying monsters are there. Right, head round here. Hello, how are you? I love your purple robes. Well, they're very nice. Right, okay. So you want uh, a tarp on. Right, so pop that in there. They hold the fish in front of their face, studying it with a tightening grip. After a few seconds, the fish collapses in on itself under the pressure. The figure looks through the gory mess and picks out the heart, placing it onto their tongue. How can we see their tongue? We don't know where their face is. Sustain the mind. They show you another scroll. This one shows a horseshoe crab. Oh, I don't think we've got one of those yet. That might be trickier for us to go and grab. We haven't got any of those. Um, Right, we haven't got our crab pots either. It's going to be around here, isn't it? I think... Is it going to be around here? I suspect so. Right, okay. So now we know they want a horseshoe crab. I think we might need to head back home. Then. So where's the last? Right, so go over there. All our crab pots are over there at the minute. So we'll nip back over there, grab all of our crab pots. And of course, the crabs that are in them, we'll sell them on. And then we'll repair the crab pots. And we'll see how we're looking with those. But yeah, where do we get a horseshoe crab from? I do not know. I'm not entirely sure, but right, let's get back home first and then we'll have a look through the encyclopedia thing and just see if we can get any more information about a horseshoe crab or whatever it was called. Okay, so we've made our way back to the Marrows. We've had a lovely night's sleep. We've sold those fish on that we had on the boat because otherwise they go mouldy. And now looking through the Fishopedia over here, we can see that fish slash crustacean number 46, thing to catch number 46, is what we're looking for. We catch it over in the Twisted Strand at a depth of 0 to 10 meters. Okay, and at any time of day. Right, that's fine. So we can go and work on that. That's okay. We do need to go and um, get all of our crab pots back in, in that case. So, right, let's go and do that nice and quick because they're not too far away. Just kind of over there, I think, in a big line. The only issue is if they're all full, that might be a bit of a nuisance because then we might have to keep nipping back and forth to sell all of the crabs. Um, that, that, that's not one of our crab pots. That's a, that's like a navigational boy thing. Um, I mean, the mouth of the deep is massive. The mouth of the deep is huge. Okay, we'll pick that up. We'll have all of those, please. I mean, really, that's the only one we probably need. Um, all right, pick that up as well. <laughs> We're going to be making many trips with these, aren't we? Okay, pick that up. And I think... Yeah, that's going to be it. Right, okay, let's go and sell those crabs, get rid of those, we'll repair the crab pots, and then we'll come back and get the rest. Hang on, admin, to be done. Oh, we have a trophy fiddler crab. That's exciting. So a fancy one of those. Okay, wonderful. So that is, I believe, the last of the crab pots picked up. That's very good. Uh, let's head back over there, then we'll sell those on. We don't get that much for the crabs, but again, as we've said a few times, we don't really need the money for anything anymore, so it's not too much of a bother. Right, so go up to there. I mean, really, I can only see us needing the money for something unexpected, or maybe if we take damage to the boat and we have to kind of repair it. We need a little bit of money to um, fix up the crab pots and things. So sell all that on for 162, and then go to the shipwright. 86 monies to repair the crab pots and that's it so i think that thing is massive that thing is huge so for now why don't we store the other crab pots away because i think that one should be okay that should keep us going for a good long time it lasts for 11 days and it's massive so okay that'll do um and then yeah let's pop over to the um to the little marrow place and just sell on the trinkets we've got we've not got many but we might as well get rid of them okay hello trader chat we've got these pearl earrings we'll sell those to you and how much is that thing 92 money okay do you know what that's not that bad that is not too bad at all we'll have one of those right okay so that's that sorted so then yeah we need to just get the crab pot just put that down somewhere um, over in the strand. So let's head back out. Uh, hang on a minute. Which way is the twisted strand? It's kind of over in that direction, is it? Yes, okay. It's over in this direction. Right, so now let's go and work on that because it'd be good to get these kind of little bits and bobs done, wouldn't it? It'd be good to get them done. 
What's that over there? Have we been here before? What's that thing? There's something there which looks odd and suspicious. It's a boat. Have we been here before? Why have I just clicked that? Have we been here before? There's somebody else here. Hello? You pull up alongside a boat at anchor. There are signs of life on board, but nobody appears to greet you. Okay, call out. Almost immediately, a small slot in the door snaps open. A pair of frantic eyes peer out at you. Hello? Somebody else on a boat. We don't really see many of the people on boats. In fact, have we seen anybody else on a boat? Then the only other kind of thing we've seen sailing around is a ghosty boat. Who goes there? A fisherman? A monster? Nobody. I mean, a fisherman. What do you want? I was just checking to see if you're okay. Do I seem okay? No, I'm very much not okay. I'm supposed to be delivering this package to Little Marrow, but I'm being stalked. A huge leviathan lurks in these deep waters. I've seen it. It hung in the water, its gaping mouth just below the boat. It would have swallowed this vessel whole if I hadn't bolted for the shallows. If I hadn't bolted for the shallows, I'm not going any further into this accursed island chain. I could deliver the package for you. You would? Well, that would work, I guess. A large package addressed to the dock worker at Little Marrow. It's dense, damp, and very sticky. This is incredibly dubious. The courier pushes a lumpy brown package through the door hole. It squelches slightly as you take it in your hands. Dark fluid oozes from one corner. <laughs> I mean, sometimes in games when you have a package to deliver, it's quite tempting to, you know, sort of open it up and have a look. I don't want to do that with this. I'm not interested. I don't know what that is, and I don't care. There you go. Uh, right, thank you, stranger. This is bound for the dock worker at Little Marrow. I'm not sure what's inside, but listen, I know this sounds crazy. Sometimes I think I can hear the faintest of whispers coming from it. No, no, you are probably correct. You're probably correct. It's very weird around here. Now, I'm not supposed to be transporting live goods. Don't have the equipment for it. So just be careful with this thing, whatever it is. Here, why don't you take this too? And we've got getting over it with mind and body. Oh, a book. Again, an item emerges from the door hole. Less squishy and gooey this time, hopefully. This time a book is pushed through and thuds onto the deck below. You pick it up. I'll be on my way whenever the coast is clear. Safe travels. Oh, we found another person. Hello, person. Right, okay, hang on. Before we go and do anything else, read the book. Because that's going to help us get our sanity back quicker, I think, isn't it? Um, have we never been between those two bits before, then? Oh, okay. Well, there we go. There we go. Right, so head back over here. I think, because our boat is now pretty speedy, we could head over here, drop off the crab pot thing at the correct depth, and then maybe head back to Little Marrow. We might be okay to do that. There's the pontoon on the right so we should be seeing the entrance of the thing just here so if we go to there deploy a crab pot right plenty at 5.2 meters that is i think l brings that up doesn't it yeah so depth 0 to 10 meters twisted strand in a pot day or night that seems fine to me okay so drop that out there the mouth of the deep has now been deployed and then we can head, I mean, do we, hang on, we could, we could just have a lovely early night chatting with the, with our sort of trader friend over here, a lovely early night, and then in the morning, go and check if we've picked up that type of crab, rather than having to keep going back and forth, that'll be a little bit more of a sort of a sensible use of our time, I think. So, um, yeah, we'll have a chat with you, I mean, not actually, oh yeah, somebody in the comments actually did say they said that the so they, they're after rare fish so the oarfish and the coelacans we've only got two left uh, somebody in the comments said that yeah it's sort of it, it, it's fairly obvious now they've said it that each fish lives in one of the different island regions apart from the marrows so we've got the one from the stellar basin and we've got the one from around here because it was the big fish so we need to look around gale cliffs and we need to look in the Devil's Spine for the other ones. And a few other people have said something about checking behind a waterfall. So possibly we need to go and check behind a waterfall as well, down in the Gale Cliffs. But, um, okay, for now, not got that at the moment. Right, okay, so we'll have a chat with you. Uh, we'll have a lovely night's sleep. I mean, a very early night for us. Just, you know, relaxing in the boat, reading a book or whatever. I don't know, popping the radio on or something, I'm not sure. Right, so... Come back round this way. 
go and check the crab pot. Has it actually done anything at all? Because apparently it's very good. We've got a giant mud crab. Okay, that's not what I was expecting to be in there, but okay. Uh, okay, fine. It looks like we might have to go back to the marrows. Let's head back to the marrows, drop off the parcel, and then come back here, shall we? Good grief. There's a lot of toing and froing this time round, much in the way of long journeys. But do you know what? I like it. I like it. I like getting all of these things done on here. So our pursuits look. Um, yeah, horseshoe crab. There are two more kind of, it looks like the space for two, two more quests that we've not done. That we've not even picked up. So that's the main one. That is rare fish for the, um, for the, uh, the person we just had, you know, the sort of uh, trading merchant person. Uh, that is for the definitely not a cultist in purple this time around. That's for the courier that we've just met. That's like the statues. Two more over here we haven't picked up on yet. Where do we go for those? I have no idea at all. So I would like to try to find where they are as well. I'd like to kind of, you know, do the entire dredge experience, if you like. But uh, right, so first things first. So let's head back over here and we'll go and deliver this slightly squelchy package. Hello, little Marrow. I'm here to talk to the dock worker. I have a very suspicious package for him. There we go. Dock worker, how's the day treating you? I've got a package here for you. I don't want to know what's inside it. I have no interest in it. Just take it and go. A delivery, eh? Oh, it's a big one. Let me see. He takes a large package and examines it gently with his hands. He lifts it to one ear and listens for a while. He seems satisfied. Much appreciated, friend. Now, if you'll excuse me, wish me luck. Uh, good luck. He turns and hurries off down the dock with another word, without another word to you. Or compensation. Oh. Okay, I suppose the, the book was compensation enough. I think that was sort of okay. Um, right, okay, that was a bit weird. So I think now what we should do is to give the crab pot time to go and actually catch some of the crabs that we wanted to, if it's in the right place. I mean, maybe we should have put it more inside the thing. I don't know, but uh, maybe now we head down here and look under the waterfall over there, because that is what a few people have said. They said, hey, do you know what? There's this thing about, uh, you know, waterfalls and be able to go behind them in games. Maybe you should do that. And there was a waterfall over here, wasn't there, of some kind. So maybe we head down to Gale Cliffs. We haven't been down there for a while anyway. Let's go over there and have a fun trip, shall we? I like the way that we can sort of see them because they're so huge. So, uh, yeah, we'll head over. I think that is about the right direction. So, yeah, let's head down there. And, um, yeah, I don't know if we'll be able to get there in time. Although we are making our ship is a, our ship, our boat, I should say, a little boat is is proper tonking long now. Look at it. Okay, no, we are going to be there in plenty of time. We are flying along. Okay, so we need to go through the um the big archway, head through there. There is there are some rocks over there that we could sort of blow out the way because we do have some actual explosives on us. So if we go through here, look, if we go through this little tunnel. Doesn't feel entirely safe in it, and I can't see the things. Right, there we go. So, get that out of the way. Use explosives, and kaboom. Okay, that just clears another path, but that's always quite handy. So, yeah, it was in here, look. And there, waterfall. Okay, so I think... Do we just go straight under the waterfall? Uh, a thing has appeared. Right, we're just going to go under the waterfall, and hopefully not terrible things are going to happen. Okay, ooh, hang on. There's treasure. There be treasure. A rotten chest sits atop a pile of rubble at the back of the cave. Look inside. We've got doubloons and some shiny metal that we have no need for anymore. But okay, we'll take that and we'll take the doubloons. Wonderful. And there is a thing just here. Right. Let's try and catch this thing then. Uh, not doing very well at catching it. It's an ore fish. Okay, commenting people, thank you very much. You're, you're seeing us through this particular part of the series. Um, that is a very weird looking thing. That is a very odd looking thing. Look at that. A splendorous crested sea serpent. The length of its massive body catches the light, shimmering with iridescence. I like its kind of exciting kind of mohawk hair there. Is that a real thing? That's very bizarre looking, isn't it? That's a very strange looking thing. Uh, right, there we go. That was good. Don't crash into the side page. Uh, right, that was that was very, very handy to get done. And I think what we should now do is 
If I can get through here without crashing into the sides, which is okay because it's mostly in a straight line. If we then head over to the crab pot, that might be quite good. So it's going to be a fairly long trek. It's going to be a long old journey. And currently it is seven o'clock. Oh no. It's going to get dark and scary. We, we can do this. We can, we're big and brave. We're big and brave. Everything's going to be fun. We've got big bright lights on the boat. It's all going to be fine. So hang on. Are we going in more or less the right direction? Yes, we are. Ignore the um, the wibbly things. Ignore that. We're not bothered. Away with you, wibbly things. It does not bother us at all. Um, the terrifying ghost boat monster might bother us, though. That that seems to be coming toward us. Oh, no. <laughs> um, yeah, there, there it is. There's the goat boat, uh, ghost boat monster. Quick, right, okay. Go, go quicker in this direction. We don't like it. <laughs> Oh, this was a terrible idea. This was a terrible idea. We should have stopped off somewhere. Everything's fine. We're okay, right? We're having a, a slightly panicked time of things. Oh, we're really far away now. Does something happen if our panic gets too extreme? Like, do we have a proper? Does, does the game stop? Do we pass out from fear or something? I genuinely don't know. Um, I think though we are heading in the right direction. If we just keep going in this direction, it's all going to be fine. Everything's going to be good. I would use haste, but I think haste affects our sanity. And it's already limited enough. Okay. The, a massive fish just crashed into us. A huge, big fish just... Uh, we lost our doubloons. That's okay. I can cope with that. What was that huge thing? I've never seen one of those before. That was a bit scary. Okay, it's a good job we've got a massive pile of money to... Uh, Go and sort that out. Um, maybe it's because we are so terrified. Maybe it's a special thing that appears if you're completely panicked. I don't know. Okay, right. That's that. That's no. We're not. We're not having that. We're not having that. That was terrifying. Okay, so when you lose your sanity, horrendous things happen. I don't like it, and I'm just gonna go to the shipyard. <laughs> Um, repair everything for 90. Thank you. <laughs> we lost the doubloons. Uh, okay, great. That's fine. Hold me. Hold me, traveling merchant. <laughs> Hug me tight. Um, okay. Right, we've got the oarfish. I mean, they want to know about the oarfish. Let's have a quick chat with them. Um, yeah, about the fish you wanted. Um, I found an oarfish. That's great news. I'll add it to my records. Here, take this. I'm sure you'll find some use for it. Okay, so research parts. We'll have those. Thank you so much. We haven't found the coelacanth yet, but now we know it's going to be in some sort of secret bit over on the Devil's Spine, because we know they're in secret bit. So over there, it was behind the waterfall. Over here, it was behind, it was, was it in there possibly? I can't quite recall, but it was in a secret bit that we had to kind of use explosives to get into. It was in that bit, maybe. I can't quite recall where the one was down here. But again, it was probably hidden away somewhere quite secret. So we sort of had to do a special thing to find it. So I'm imagining it's going to be in some secret bit over here. But OK, that's fine. I mean, we have got it with us. We've, we've got it literally with us here. Would you like it? Uh, it's only it's not worth much money. But yeah, you can have it. Do you know what? You're very welcome to it. And then we'll do some research. What were we doing? Oh, engines. That's it. We're looking at getting the engines. And right, twin jet drive engine. Do that. And do that. No more research parts. I mean, got a massive stack of money. Is it worth buying a research part from you? Uh, yeah, let's have a research part. Why not? That means we can finish another thing. So yeah, go to engines, get the twin jet drive engine done. And that unlocks an engine stack. A hulking mass of an engine boasting considerable speed. So 67.2 knots. Hang on. So that's nine and a half. So that could do, uh, let's say it's 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, a bit less. Ah, the engine stack is better than those um, to, in terms of actual power. So if we had six of those, that would generate, uh, hang on, so that'd be 60, minus, so 57, that generates 67. So that's 10 knots quicker for the same amount of space. So is it worth potentially trying to get one of those in? It could be. I mean, maybe we should use our money to just buy research parts wherever we find them. Because then we can just get everything unlocked. That'd be quite good. However, right now, let's go to bed, have a bit of a sleep, and just try not to panic so much. Look, it's daytime. 
and no gigantic terrifying fish are coming to eat us and no weird kind of terrifying vines are coming up to kind of capture us either. So everything's all fine. We've got the horseshoe, the horseshoe crab. Okay, right. Pick up those things. Head back over here to sell the two big crabs to pay for the repairs. And again, fancy reverse parking, la da da. Okay, so fish market, uh, sell that thing for 63. That's not bad. That is 61. Right, don't sell the horseshoe crab. Let's go and drop that off to the hungry person. Hello there, my peckish friend. How are you? Sustain the mind. They're showing another scroll. Yep, absolutely. You can have one of those. The figure turns the crab over to expose its soft underbelly. They scoop out its innards with sharp fingernails, consuming them blindly. Consume the sky. Okay, the final scroll. A barrel eye. We can get that. They're, they're kind of around... I don't know. That we've seen there's plenty of them out down that way, isn't there? Aren't there some kind of around here? I think we'll be fine to do that. I've just put the mouth of the deep out there. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I want to pick that up. <laughs> Not that. I've got the wrong thing. That's what I wanted. The spyglass. Um, red snapper. Yeah, I, there's, there were some barrel eyes. Hang on, was that one? No, that was another red snapper. I, we're going to go and find it. We're going to go and sort that little quest out. Because it would make sense to just kind of get that done now. They've got one thing left they want to snack on in a kind of weird, creepy, definitely not a cultist way. And I think we can find it down here somewhere. It's not going to be that far away. There's the fort. So I think yeah, we found a few around here, didn't we? There were a few. So, okay, we'll, we'll just go on the search for them around here, maybe. There we go. There's a barrel eye. So sort of in that direction, out into the middle of nowhere past the floaty treasure chest thing. That's fine. Is it right in front of us? It's that one there. Okie doke. So go and grab that. And uh, yeah, we'll catch... I mean, we might as well catch a few of these while we're here. Oh, we've caught a weird one. A void eye. Inside its eye, a perpetual pattern repeats. Red cyclones meld through shimmering green swirls. The abyss burns through you. Okay, a bit weird. Can we catch another slightly less odd one? There we go, just a regular barrel eye. Yay, okay, that's all fine. Uh, we'll catch a few of these. Oh, do you know what? We'll catch a fancy trophy one. And boop, there we go. Oh, a trophy void eye. That's just showing off now. Oh, crikey, there's plenty of these over here then. Right, okay, there we go. That's good. And then, I think... Because we know what's going to happen. It's going to get late and we're going to go kind of crazy. So let's pop back over to our lovely favourite pontoon over here. And then we'll rest there for the night. Sell some fish. Rest there. And then drop the um, drop the thing off with the hungry guy in the morning. This is going to be fine. So there we go. Pop into here. Go to the fish market. Don't sell everything. So that's not worth much. Nor that, nor that, nor that, nor that. But that's not what we're here for. Okay. Right, wonderful. So have a bit of a rest and then we'll pop back in the morning and give the definitely not a cultist in purple their fish. Okay, hello there, my good sir. How are you? Yep, consume the sky, all that kind of stuff. Absolutely. Here's a barrel eye. Enjoy that. The figure begins to consume the fish head first, gnashing teeth, searching for the heart of the thing. When the fish is halfway gone, they stop and throw it aside. They take a book from inside their robe and give it to you, uh, pushing the limit engines added to the cabin. Okay, so we've got the book. Sky will fall. They cross their arms and appear to fall into a deep sleep. Okay, that's another little kind of mission done. That's very good. How near are we to complete that? Only 61% through reading that book. That is a very big book. We've been around many things trying to read that book. Okay, and then we've got another one as well. Wow, okay. So there are many things to read. So really, in terms of pursuits, we've got to find the one rare fish, which is the coelacanth. That's going to be over at the Devil's Spine. We've got to head over to the search for relics at the Devil's Spine. And we've got to light some statues, which are over at the Devil's Spine. So I kind of get the feeling that maybe we should head over to the Devil's Spine. Now, we haven't been... I think we checked those islands out. We haven't looked at those islands. So I don't think we have. So there might be another hungry person there. And I don't think we've looked at those either. But maybe what we could do is we could go and pop back to the ancient temple and then wrap things up. And that's quite a long trip over there. 
which maybe means we could possibly read a little bit more book. That would be quite good. Now I think it's the big pointy bit where we want to head. Now I can sort of see the temple-y sort of things in the distance, kind of the silhouettes of them. So I think that is where we want to go. So if we just kind of head over in that direction, you know, dodge the whales and dodge the land as well, because we don't want to crash into that either. That would also be equally as bad. And then we'll just try and make our way over here. And then, yeah, see how far we are along with reading that book as well. Because I think this is quite a long journey. So hopefully that will push us toward completing it. Okay, so we're here at the Devil's Spine and looking under the waterline there, I can definitely see cracks in the ground there. Look at that. So it is quite hot around here. We've got all the fancy gear that allows us to fish in the warmer waters. And there is a kind of a, a vent of some kind there. I imagine we might want to avoid that as well. But okay, for now, let's just pull up over here. Yep, this creepy looking nightmare temple, the ancient temple. We're not going to do anything with anything. We're just going to finish things up. So how far did we get through that book? I mean, that was quite a long trip we made. And it was, what were we on, 61? So what, 11, sort of 10, 11%. That's not very much at all. And given that we have another book to read as well. Crikey's. Okay, that's taking quite a long time. So I think, yeah, we'll finish up for now. And then next time, we'll have a little look around here before we go and dive in and do any kind of missions. There's a thing over there that might be interesting, and a thing down here that might be interesting. And what I'm hoping is that if we do actually cover those things off, come out of that say, so, uh, we might possibly figure out what the final two little kind of missions are over here. So find the coelacanth, like the statues, do the other two things, find the final artifact for the collector... And then who knows what we do after that? I do not know. So there we go. Plenty to do next time. We are in the slightly creepy, sinister, evil, sort of more cultist looking part of the world. I notice these people here do look a little bit like the definitely not a cultist that we've happened across already. But uh, yes, it's a little bit more sort of sinister and creepy around here. But you know what? That's fine. It's dredge. It's all sinister and creepy. And we're kind of not entirely used to it, but we come to expect it. So there we go. We'll finish up for now. And then when we come by next time, we'll see what's happening over here in the Devil's Spine. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in dredge. But for now, Thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I'll see you next time. This robotic arm has salmonella on it. Okay, so we've got two things that are diseased. Be warned about Tutorial Robot. He's all sort of retro and adorable. I think he wants to destroy humanity. <laughs> Hungry humans, come and order some food. 74% efficiency. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. There he is. There's the murderous robot face. 